Hey everyone, Justin here. Today I've got the best 14 or 15 items for the runners, swimmers, cyclists, and triathletes in your life going into the holiday 2020 season. There's Amazon links for everything in the description below, but I also wanna say now is a really awesome time to support your local shop. So if that's an option to you and you feel comfortable with it, go ahead and support your local shops because they could use your business right now. That said, let's go ahead and dive into the list right away. So nutrition is a really cheap and easy gift and it helps people expand their palate of of what they like basically because we get so stuck in our ways. Here's a couple of good ones. A lot of people like gels, scratch labs. I've been using scratch a lot. This uh, nutrition powder for mixing in drinks is really good, but their chews are freaking excellent. I don't have any to show you because I ate them all. Cliff blocks are pretty darn good. I prefer scratch uh, chews in general, but cliff blocks are pretty darn good. And then some experimental goo flavors are always fun. I've got this beer one that I still have to eat. A lot of these are just like a dollar or two each, really fun little stocking stuffer it's an easy win. All right, number two, what good would a triathlete be without lube, right? So for the bike, squirt dry lube, wax lube is awesome. It's really fast, it goes on clean, it stays clean. Um, it's it's really, really good. It's pretty expensive, but I love it. Not great if you're doing a lot of wet, wet weather riding, so like right now I wouldn't use this outdoors, but this is a great lube to use on race day. Uh, for running in general, uh, Body Glide is a classic. So if somebody needs lube for like chafing or for like wetsuits, Body Glide works really well. My favorite though, Gorl's Nut Butter, it's a beeswax lube. You're buying a gift for somebody who's ever complained about chafing on like inner thighs or around the neck or like nipples or anything like that. Squirrel's Nut Butter is my go-to. Body Glide is great for wetsuits in triathlon and Squirt is awesome for on the bike. All right, number three, this is literally just a towel. It's a pack towel. I use this all the time. So on the bike trainer, I use this as like a sweat towel when I'm swimming a lot. I This just lives in my gym bag because this one little towel can dry my entire body off. So I don't have to take like a giant cotton towel. It dries really fast too. So I can just leave it in my car laid out just like that and it gets dry and I don't have to wash it every single day like I do with a big cotton towel. This size is awesome, 10, 12 bucks. Love it. All right, so number four on the list is socks. It's a boring gift. Everybody's got a preference. I just love smart wool merino socks in this length. I've used this exact model of sock in like a bunch of marathons. I use these in two double marathons. I use these in Ironman. I use these in all of my cycling. I use these in from like below freezing when I was running through streams all the way up to when I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina and I was running in like 100 degrees days the same pair if you're giving a gift to somebody who's ever complained about blisters a good pair of socks and squirrels nut butter like if that doesn't solve it i can't help you all right number five this is a gift specifically for people who do indoor training like on the bike trainer or if you have a treadmill a smart power plug for your fans ten dollar smart switch that you just plug your fan into and then you can control that with google or alexa and then you can just say the trigger word turn on my fan or turn on my plug and it just turns it on. It doesn't control speed, so you still have to set your speed manually, but having the ability to just turn it on and off from your phone is really cool, especially for 10 bucks. Number six is a gift that I should probably buy myself, but that is a Road ID. So if you're not familiar with Road ID, it's basically a bracelet that has your contact information on it. So in the event that you ever get hit by a car, or have a medical emergency, maybe you don't have your phone or ID on you, uh, the first responders are able to contact your family. All right, number seven is a very important thing that so many cyclists overlook. And specifically, it's a set of bits and a torque wrench. So what this is, is if you're ever doing any bike work at home, almost all bike components, especially carbon bikes, have a torque specification that you're supposed to tighten your bolts to. And if you overdo it, you basically just crack it. Like there's no, there's no warning. You just, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You broke it. So torque wrenches are really important because they help you avoid that by properly tightening all of your bike components. This is one from Tecton. It's $40 for the tool. And then you need some sort of bit set to go with it, another 10, 15, 20 bucks. So there are little torque keys that are cheaper, but the problem with those is they only do one torque setting. So every bike has at least two torque settings uh, probably three or four is pretty common so the cool thing about this torque meter is it goes from zero newton meters up to just under 17. the majority of uh, torque set uh, torque ratings on a bike are between five and ten so this is going to cover a lot all right number eight on the list you've been looking at it the entire time these smart wool merino hats this is a reversible one uh you're looking at about 30 bucks for these 
Again, this beanie, I've worn this specific beanie for many years, 10, 15, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, up till about 50 degrees or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This is on. I love these beanies. If the person that you're giving a gift for does any sort of running in cool weather, if they don't have a good hat or specifically a good merino beanie, strongly consider one of these. Speaking of hats, on the other end of the spectrum, number nine, the Patagonia Air Dini hat. Had one, lost one. This hat is for like the extreme opposite end of the spectrum. So if the person that you're giving a gift for does running or is outdoors in the heat, this is the lightest hat I've ever used. It's, it's almost freaky light. Like you put it on, it doesn't even feel like you have a hat on, but it still provides some sun protection. Kind of expensive at like $40, um, but the Aridini hats, like if, if you're looking for a hat that works in the heat, I've never found a better one. Which moves us along back to cool weather for number 10, and that is a merino wool long sleeve top. So you've got a couple options right now. REI makes a base layer merino wool blend top, which is about 50 bucks long sleeve, works well. And then the second option is Icebreaker. They make 100% merino wool tops. They're a little bit more expensive, and like I said, your longevity is gonna be a bit less, but the performance during might be a little bit higher. Those are coming in about $80. If you're giving a gift for somebody who runs in like the shoulder seasons or cool weather, a long sleeve merino top is like just a staple of the running attire. They work so well. And continuing the apparel trend again for number, what are we at, 11? The best running shirts I've found are these Nike uh, knit shirts. They're, they're basically like a dry fit tech knit shirt, whatever you want to call them. They make them in a long sleeve, they make them in a short sleeve. Again, like I've had them five or six years. I've put many thousands of running miles into them. They have no holes. I, I just wash them, I dry them, I don't do anything special. I don't treat them particularly well, but they last and they just work really well. And then what the heck, here's a little bonus since I'm on the shirt thing. Uh, this is from a brand which I've had some exposure to in the past, but I haven't run a lot in, so I can't speak to longevity as well, but it's Janji. Merino will blend. I like this in particular because it has a collar, which I always have like a cold neck, um, but I just got this, so I can't speak to the longevity of it, um, but it's a Merino will blend. Construction is great, feels great, and Janji donates a bunch of their profits to some good causes, so if you're looking for an alternative to Nike, uh, this might be worth checking out as well. All right, so next up on the list isn't one specific item, but rather it's a category of items covering recovery. So I have a foam roller, a lacrosse ball, and recovery tights. One, a foam roller. This is just a classic piece of recovery gear. It, you roll on it and it lets the muscle knots go. Uh, it hurts, but it's great. You don't need a fancy one. This is like a $30 foam roller. It's got these little indents and stuff. If you only can afford a 10 or an $11 Amazon Basics foam roller, you're gonna get 95% of the benefits. This is a lacrosse ball. It's basically this made smaller, but it lets you get deeper into the muscles because it, it's smaller so you get more pressure. This is particularly great on calves. So next up is recovery tights. There's actually like real scientific data that says wearing compression gear after uh, endurance exercises reduces inflammation. It reduces uh, the, the length of delayed onset muscle soreness um, and it basically helps you recover faster. They're expensive, like $100 for these, which is kind of ridiculous, I think, but like you feel different. Check these out. All right, getting near to the end, I've got two headphone recommendations from the same company. Aftershocks bone conducting headphones are some of my favorite electronics that I've owned that I've used. They just work so well. So if you're not familiar with bone conducting headphones, they sit on the outside of your head, uh, basically, rather than going into your ear canal, and they essentially vibrate your cheekbones. You can hear the sound. So these are excellent for running because they, they cannot fall out. They never unseal, and they just work really, really well. And the other really cool benefit here is because your ear canals are open, you can still hear the rest of the world. So it's a lot safer because you can hear those ambient sounds. Aeropex is closer to these. They're like a Bluetooth headphone that connects to your phone. They're water resistant, um, but you know, they're, they're meant to be used like running and outdoors and you're connected to your phone. Uh, it works well. These store the music inside the headphone itself. You connect it to your computer, you download MP3s. They're not Bluetooth compatible, so you can't connect these to your phone. You have to have music files or whatever. The other thing is, these are waterproof. You can use these while swimming in a pool. Coolest thing ever, these are really nice. And then the last thing that I wanna talk about is also the most expensive, and that's the Garmin Varia 515. This is almost $200, depending on where you buy it. So this is not cheap, 
but it completely redefined how I bike. And what this is, is it looks like a tail light, and it does, it mounts to the back of your bike, but it's a radar unit for your bike. And what it does is it tells you how many cars are behind you, if they're passing you at a dangerous speed, and how far away they are from you, so you know when you're getting past. Unquestionable that that picks up cars far earlier than I could hear them, and it's so, confidence inspiring and relaxing to know how many cars are behind me if they're passing me when they're passing me how far away they are from me if they're passing at a very high rate of speed it's just excellent they're expensive but i have zero regrets about the money that i spent on this so that's the list i hope you found it useful if you have any other suggestions if you're aware of products in the space let me know and let other people know in the comments down below and like i said now is a really awesome time to support your local running shop your triathlon store whatever you can do to help them stay in business so that they are there for us when our races come back. So with that said, I hope you have a happy holidays. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.